What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming here with a brand new series and it's called The Art of Osiris. Yes, you guys, it was going to be Art of Trials, but I was like, man, that's boring. Might as well call it something cool. So this is episode one, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully you guys tune in. The point of the series is to actually give you guys our strategies, our mental focus on what we think about and how we act and all the trials maps. And guys, this here was no joke. Boom. I wasn't letting us lose. This was the last trials game we played this last weekend. Um, it was actually, we started before the reset time, so we still got to play it. And there was that slow motion for you guys, and let's move on. Um, I have some pretty solid sniping in here, and I also have mistakes. I wanted to actually put the whole video, you know, I could easily just cut and paste and make myself look like a god. But everyone makes mistakes, including me. Uh, it doesn't matter how good you are in Destiny, and I don't think I'm the best. I'm just, like, decent. So I'm going to tell you guys pretty much my mentality most of the maps you guys will see most of the episodes you will see will be with me using the sniper my primary well, literally my primary weapon is the sniper sometimes um so for most of the maps i'll tell you uh in terms of sli sniping lanes how we coordinate the team and whatnot now this map right here as you guys saw i rushed and i died it was a bad choice for me i should have trusted my teammates to collapse on the guy who i made absolute absolute also means one shot you guys a lot of people don't understand you'll see us on our stream and they'll be like why do you keep saying absolute absolute just means that the person is is one shot it's a quicker way of saying that they're one shot i guess or, or very very hurt um so it's 1-1, one, one, it's tied up. We have sunny side spawn. I believe it's a better respawn. Um, and right there, as you guys saw, I saw bullets going to blow up those barrels. What that tells me right away is that you're trying to make your way over to middle. So it's kind of stupid to do that, guys. Be very careful. I get the sniper across. Then the guy spawns. I don't know if you guys noticed that. You guys can actually go back and check it out. I actually quick scoped the guy that was got respawned, and then I melee killed the guy in front of me. It all happened so fast. I didn't even know I did it. But hey, there's uh, two rounds that we won, uh, and I, you know, an 8.0 KD, not not doing too bad, trying to help my team out the best that I can. Um, and as you guys know, I'm playing with the infamous Tefty Tef from Planet Destiny. Uh, we dual Sherpa uh, on on the streams. He has a personal stream and he has a Planet Destiny stream. Make sure you guys check him out. He's a freaking beast, most humble guy, awesome, awesome, awesome individual. Like deserves every bit of success and more. So. Here, as you guys saw, I was not doing too great with the last word. It doesn't have that much range, so I trusted the bait and switch with my teammate, and I just cut off the uh, the enemy's route, and I killed him. At the end of the round, I always go, always, always, always go for that special ammo, and you make sure you remind your teammates as well. So I'm doing pretty good. Three rounds in, 10.0 KD. Um, you guys, this is an intense, intense match. Um, they actually come back and they're actually ahead, and the ending is amazing. Like it, it was such a crazy clutch, and it was the last game we played for the week, so it was, it was definitely awesome. So, as you guys notice, in a lot of the trials games, whether you're on our stream or whether you're watching this, um, on, on the trials games, we try our best to be aggressive individuals depending on who we play against. Some people play very, very passive. Some people play very aggressive. It's usually one or the other. You don't run into too many teams that are kind of like in the middle. I would say that every team that I played with, and we always do carry, so we are helping middle. Uh, well, we tried to get them to the lighthouse, but we just didn't have enough time. So we, are, we always try to help people. So we have two people that are very good paired with an individual that's not very good but hey that individual can improve i don't know how that head didn't get popped right there i don't know how i didn't get that snipe but who cares i died um as you guys see like when i snipe i try to go to the lanes there's there's that middle hallway lane there's that um corner room lane right when you go through the doorway where you can see the middle and then you have the lane across and then you have the lane across to your right um so the thing is you don't want to like hard scope and stay looking at a lane ever it's just not good it, it really when you're in your scope you can't see your radar so you can't call out as much for your team and call outs are very very important you guys will see i believe it's this round where um so see that like quickly i, I st always strafe with my sniper too i always strafe left and right with my sniper and you never want to continue looking at a spot you want to keep moving um and just look at your radar your radar is a big help here i get caught jumping back um, I would have got away from that if I didn't, but man, those Warlock burn techniques are just insane. So, as you guys know, revives are so, so key. 
So middle, our helper, is actually being an amazing helper. Like I want to let you guys know, if you guys come to me, we've carried about 1,700, over 1,700 people in Trials of Osiris, and that's lighthouse trips, you guys. If you guys come to us, we're not looking to, hey, we're just going to get you your lighthouse and you're going to leave. No, we're going to get you to become better players. We're calling out. We're telling you what to do. If you have questions, you ask us. We build your setup. We make sure you have the best Warlock setup, best Hunter setup, best Titan setup. We make sure you're the best. So here I notice there's a gap for me to go pick up my teammates. Now you'll see what I do wrong here. I picked him up. I expected my teammate to go to the other guy and pick him up so I can fend these guys off. However, I got caught in a horrible horrible grenade by the warlock and i stayed scoping in i shouldn't have done that I should have quick scoped shot maybe got a body shot and then just just ran we all actually should have ran and then regrouped because that was just a bad position to be in now the game that we were up 3-1 we're actually down 4-3 uh my super is not very close um and and this team really does have the advantage here uh they still have two self reses we know they do um i get that snipe once again i knew he was going to probably push uh bottom mid this team does seem to be a little aggressive they use a golden gun right there. Uh, we don't want to die here, obviously. But once again, middle, the guy we are helping, is being so clutch and getting those revives. Honestly, you guys, there have been podcasts about, you know, reviving in this game and how it's so fast. And you always want to have at least two people that have quick res or fast res, Crest of Alpha Loopy or Light Beyond Nemesis on your team, at least two out of the three. That allows your whole team to have fast res. And it's so important. You don't even need to outkill the other team. You just need to out revive them. So it's very, very, very important to get revives. As you guys saw, I'm doing my best with the sniper. Uh, my sniping at this point is actually doing really, really well. Um, and they use one self res. I know the other guy has self res, but we're, I'm just hoping that we can kill this guy and then focus on the orbs. So Tef, unfortunately, he was getting bodied with with the shotties, man. Those shotties, uh, they're insane. They're literally like snipers. It's kind of crazy. So I burn out once again, the Warlock burn, and this is looking really bad. But once again, the guy we're helping comes so clutch. Look at that. Literally saved the game for us with that revive. Then right away, I go to Tev, get that revive. Come over here. Boom. Get the snipe headshot. I die, but it's 1v1. And the, the guy, that guy is being very uh, foolish right now. He was waiting for... Um, my orb and he shouldn't have been doing that he actually should have went to either his friends orbs or just tried to kill uh my teammate while he was going for the revives so they screwed that up all three of us are up and they're not so as you guys know just like i said revives are key so at the end of the round you want to make sure you get special all the time and i now will have my super this round this round is insane you guys like geez i can't believe that this round even played out the way it did but you guys will see the mentality that we're using no, one thing I would change about this game going back is I wouldn't always go to the right. We should have changed it up. We should have went, went on spawn. We should have went all the way to the left. We should have spawned, went to the middle, all this extra stuff. As you guys see, I'm, I was literally absolute no health at all. And I have my super, so I can't die. Like, I'm going back and forth. I'm like, man, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Oh, I'm hurt again. I'm crouching here. I'm like, I can't die, you guys. I have my super. That guy completely messed that guy was the reason that team lost because i got my health back immediately used my super kill one kill the second now this is where i turn my controller into claw gameplay where i can revive and use the controller at the same time so i revived and got the kill so just in case we traded my teammate would have still been up so i was reviving with my index finger while my um middle finger was doing my blade dancer and there you have it guys a clutch 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 win i hope this helped you guys out remember you guys if 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 something's not working, change it up. Don't be scared to change it up. Communication is key. Revives are key. And thank you guys so much. Feel free to come on over to our live stream. The link is in the description below. We carry people, baby. Come to us. We'll get you there. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm really excited for this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay blessed, you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.